Hello everyone and welcome back to AM2R. I am still double negative, and today is a very short video, but we've got some, a bunch of bosses in this one. Three Metroids and an actual proper boss. Out of all the strange designs in the game, I still don't get the extremely long refill corridor. But who am I to argue with what the fans think? You might recall we came this way very briefly in the first video, but we were stopped by a bombable wall that will not hold us back this time. In fact, let's just take the shortcut across the top. A little bit easier and a lot faster. I call it the nest, but I guess the game says it's the breeding grounds. When you go in here, you're going to fight somewhere between three and occasionally eight Metroids. There's a whole bunch in here. There's one for every major zone in the game. And there's the, our first victim right now. Future Alpha Metroids will not be nearly as accommodating as this one is, though this one is kind of uh, being a pain in my ass. You see what I mean about them sitting right on top of you? In fact, we just took, good lord, 104 damage trying to fight one Alpha Metroid. That's shameful. Luckily, the rest won't go nearly that badly. And left and right both have more Metroid carcasses, or Met Ma Alpha Metroids, so let's just pick our poison. Damn, that was near perfect. About as good as you could have asked for. The drain on the... I guess they're thorns, are, isn't too bad, so you can kind of stand in it for a little bit to, tank the, to fight the Metroid better. Now, you wouldn't want to live down there. For a 20 second fight, that's not too bad of a drain. It's a lot less damage than taking a, a hit from its horns. And just like that, we've cleared all the Metroids out of Area 1. That's what, 5 total down, and God only knows how many more to go. There's an option in the options menu I could toggle that shows you how many are left in the game, but I like it better with the, the counts per area. Gives the game a sense of mystery. Plus the counts, the total number in the game keeps getting updated, because that was the way it was in the Game Boy version, and that count would occasionally jump up by between 1 and 9. But I promised you all an actual boss fight. This Ancient Guardian I don't believe was in the Game Boy game. But he's not a very hard fight, once you realize the gimmick. Occasionally his eyes will glow. If they glow yellow, he drops a fireball that spreads across the ground. You can just hop right over that. If they glow green, you need to stand right underneath of the head. If it glows purple, you need to duck down, and if it glows blue, you just can't be underneath of the head. It takes me a little bit to cotton onto that fact. In fact, the biggest danger here is the walls and not the guardian. It wouldn't be nearly as bad if he didn't stop every two seconds to drop another fireball. This isn't my best performance, but it's such an easy boss that you would have a hard time getting a game over against it. That didn't stop me my first time playing 
to get a game over against it six times. I wasn't very good back then. Anyway, while we celebrate, I'm going to go ahead and thank you all for watching, because this is the end of the video. I'll see you all next time for the trek to Area 2.